Welcome to the Algebraic Show, but first, we need a definition. A function is a one-to-one -one function if, for each second element, range, there corresponds exactly one first element, domain. Okay, so, now that we got that definition of one-to-one, -one, we want an algebraic show for this guy, what? That's a, it's a line. It's a line sloping down and the y-intercept's at 30. If you looked at it, it would be all like dirty. It looked like that. So it passes the horizontal line test. So we're gonna do something like what we wanted with the horizontal line. Yeah, horizontal line test. Well, what's that say? For each second element, the corresponds exactly one first element. Now this is gonna make sense to a few of you, but mm, well, what, oh, all right. Let these two be first elements. They're in the domain of F. Now, we suppose that they have the same y value. If they have the same y value, then they have the same range value. And we're trying to show that if they have the same range value, if they have the same y value, then they have to have the same x value. So I go and I suppose that. And we're using this f there. What the f? That's, um, yeah. So if we're looking for f of x2, then that's 30 minus x2. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's on this side. That's that 30 minus that x2. Why? Because we suppose that these two y values were the same. Now, if I was trying to find f of x1, that'd be 30 minus x1. That's what I'm going to put over here. So that's, uh, um, uh -huh, um, um, blue. Blue, blue, 30 minus x1. Now what? We subtract the 30s off of each side. Uh, uh, and that's a minus x2 is equal to a minus x1. Then we multiply both sides by a minus 1, and we have x2 is equal to x1. What does that show? That shows that your function was indeed 1 to 1. Why? Because you set the two y values equal to each other, and that only happens if the two x values were equal to each other. So each Second element corresponds to exactly one first element. The only two ways the y values are equal is if the x values is equal now. What if you took something that wasn't one to one? We're looking at that. Ooh, that if you factored it, that would be x times x minus one. Yeah, okay, so it has a zero there and it has a zero of one. So that's looking like this. It does not, you can't see that. You, over here. That doesn't pass the horizontal line test. So if we went and we did the same algebraic show, we would go and we'd let x1 and x2 be in the domain of f. There are x values in there. And then what? Suppose that the two y values are the same. If we did that and followed the same items, then this is an x2 squared minus an x2. That's going to be equal to... Uh huh. Uh, x1 squared minus an x1 fun. Okay, what I do, I set that there and I set that there. What we intend to do is show that it's not one to one when we don't get that x2 is equal to x1. Anyways, if I go and I got those on the same side, I'm specifically saying x2 squared and then minus x1 squared, and then a minus x2, and then a plus x1. That's gonna be equal to nothing. Oh boy. So then if I was gonna group them, look at it. That's the difference of squares. That's x2 minus x1 times x2 plus x1. That's how that would factor there. What am I gonna do with a hair? I'm gonna pull out a minus, and that's an x2 minus an x1. Why did you do that? Because I have it set it equal to zero and I'm trying to use my zero factor property. All right, now I see that those two are the same and I'm gonna factor it out. 
So that's an x2 minus an x1. All right. And then leftovers on the inside. I write the leftovers. That's this business. x2 plus x1. And then that's minus the one that's in front of there. So what I have is I have a product and that product's equal to zero. So I'm probably running out of room. Oh, no, I'm still good. So then I have an x2 minus an x1 is equal to zero. Okay, and I have that x2 plus x1 minus that one is equal to zero. Sure. Oh, hi, Penelope. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Hi. I said not without your cat shirt. Okay, so now, um, here I have that x2 is equal to x1. All right, that's cool, but over there, I have that x2 is equal to 1 minus an x1. Now, since I have that value over here, this one here says it's not. Am I still? I'm still. 1, 2, 1. Yeah. I told her that she couldn't be in the video if she didn't put on her cat shirt. <laughs> it's just, just. Boxing cat show. I mean, algebraic!